In the classrooms of McLean High School, a different kind of lesson with potential teachers in the student seats. I'm offering strategies for like a motivation for some teachers. President Unified filled these classrooms with a one-stop shopping orientation for emergency substitute teachers. On Saturday, a couple hundred of them filled out paperwork, got ID cards, and even submitted to fingerprinting while also learning how to handle a job they may be thrust into soon. We're making sure that they have classroom strategies for classroom management, building relationships with students, and also a knowledge on how the curriculum works. The school district and its teachers have reached an impasse in negotiations as the teachers push for better salaries and benefits, smaller class sizes, and improvements in special education. Both sides say they'd rather avoid it, but the first strike in 40 years could come this month. Fresno Unified's offering $500 a day to potential subs, about four times the usual amount. Administrators say they've added 1,300 new subs to the pipeline, and a lot of them are highly qualified. We have many credentialed teachers as well as experienced substitutes, so we're really excited because we feel like our students are going to have the, the best experience in their classrooms. Union leaders say they're not surprised by the district going to great lengths to find subs to break a possible strike. President Unified has been willing to do basically anything and everything besides work with its educators. But even with the newly recruited subs, there are only 1,700 people to fill 3,800 teacher jobs. And union leaders say it'll be a bad situation for the kids. Fact-finding is scheduled for Monday and Tuesday, but it's non-binding. If there is no agreement after that, the district can impose its terms on the teachers, and the teachers can go on strike. Corin Hoggard, ABC 30, Action News.